I'm gonna do a poem for a dude that told me, cause since I've been in Fort Wayne these few hours, he's the second person that stopped me and said he was a single father. So I feel like I should. And this is kind of like, not what I'm supposed to be doing. Not that I have a set list, but I have a set time. I'm sticking this in anyway, okay. for him. Real All right? <laughs> Blasted out of my sleep at six o'clock in the morning. Some maniac outside leaning on his call horn. Gotta go outside and teach him the proper etiquette. Neighborhood bad enough, can't let it get worse than it already is. Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? I need my sleep. That's the only time on this planet that I ever get any peace. I tried that college thing on some American dream tip, but yet I still live on the same street that I grew up on. Them same streets that I grew tough on. My mother hoped that I would surpass at least to the middle class, but yet I'm still stuck on that same mentality. And all those years of college ain't even challenged me. But when I graduated, life was right there to put a degree in my hands and a foot on my chest. And here I am dressed in my pajamas, no slippers, about to run outside and rip the backbone out. This fool ain't got nothing to show for all those years of school, but bad credit. Just me, right? Yeah. And even worse, decisions. And I live in a neighborhood where people buy food on credit, so they finance, but they don't just take and they're making payments on food that they already ate. And when they see me on the street, they're looking at me like they're about to break. And I'm snatching open this door like I'm about to break. And I see my best friend, and he's sitting in a minivan with four of those child car seats. He's looking at me with a gun in his hand. It's like I can hear his heart beating. With his other hand, he takes a swig of liquor from a bottle of scotch, pops the door locks like get in. Moves the pictures of his children off the car seat with the gun, throws them in the glove box, and it's like everything stops. And we drive, and we drive, and we drive till we get to the part of town where it seems like the American dream is still alive. And in my mind, I'm playing Nina Simone as I'm looking out the window on the passenger side. And it's like somebody scraping their fingernails along my bones as I feel this grown man cry, and I wonder if he knows that tens of millions of people in this country are depressed, but using alcohol or drugs to remain in denial. I wonder if he knows that there's a suicidal tendency hiding behind almost every profile. And no matter how many times they go back to school or how many jobs they work simultaneously, they can never seem to change their lifestyle. But somehow, they convince themselves it'll be different for their children. And eventually, they'll realize that's a fantasy, but they need something to believe in. Until then, in him, he just wants to be a father to his children. But sometimes, y'all, after all the love is gone, children become pawns in a relationship. And, and his relationship with his children is the vehicle that his ex-wife chooses to take out her frustrations with. And if he's just one day late on the child support, she reports it to the courts. And, and what's driving him crazy is yesterday, he just got laid off. Now, 30 days ago, her and the kids just moved in with a new man who drives a Range Rover and plays golf. And that's a year ago from the day that my best friend had to go to jail for making her last boyfriend stop telling the children that their father was soft. And right now, he feels like everything's lost. That's why I'm glad he came to me to give me this opportunity to put a few thoughts across. And you see, all day and all night, we talk. And I tell him, a man is judged by what's in his soul and what's in his heart, and not just by what's in his pockets. I tell him, me and him are friends who thick and thin, and if he's in pain, we need to put our brains, time, and money together to stop it. I tell him the fact that when I have a lot of money is a problem, then rather than getting fed up, what we need to do is wake up and like Moses and Jacob, whenever we get together, just find new ways to profit. Because in my eyes, our friendship is how we live and how we die. And don't you ever believe that even for a second that I would ever let you slide. Now, for what I'm about to say, I want you to listen with all your pride and sexuality aside. Because as God is my guide, like my own self, I love you.